Becoming financially independent by investing in real estate. Selling or buying a home is always a personal experience. There is so much to consider, so much to weigh in on. For many, it's not just a home, it's their long-term financial investment. Therefore, having the right real estate agent by your side, the one who can help guide you and has your best interest at heart, is paramount. Luminita Ispas, or simply Lumi, is one of those brokers. Putting you and your needs first is what makes Lumi the best choice. Her positive attitude, enthusiasm, and personal approach come in handy. Lumi likes to say she was born for this job. When you come here as an immigrant, you discover that you don't know mostly anything about investing. So you think you know, right? You bring what you know from home, but the United States works a little bit differently. And um, I chose real estate as I've always been attracted to houses. I like people. So I started selling originally just uh, homes. Uh, people were buying their own home. And then slowly, slowly, I started invest selling investment properties as I discovered that uh, the investment properties will really change people's life. Though the road to being top Chicago real estate broker selling 90% more real estate than the average agent wasn't easy. In her native communist Romania, where you could not even own a house, as a small child, Lumi would often draw her dream home. When the country was finally free, the opportunities that were impossible before opened up in front of Lumi. She dreamed big, and in a short time, she became one of the youngest entrepreneurs in her native city. I came in with 200 bucks in my pocket. I mean, I thought I'll leave everything home, back home. I don't need it. And um, I was surprised. I, I mean, it was a big, uh, big surprise, yeah, a big wake up call. The first few years were, were a little tough because I didn't speak the language. I didn't understand how things were going. So I discovered a passion for real estate. And, and it was because I realized that that was a vehicle to, to, to help me get successful and also because I kind of discover my call. I love real estate. You know, when you're young, sometimes you don't know what you want to do in life. And uh, I was coming from having a company in Romania, opening up a company right after school, and which was great. But I can't say it was my calling, right? So coming here, I still, I still remember that the day when there was this advertising in TV, and it says, do you like people? Do you like houses? You should become a realtor. And you know, it was like really cheesy, right? But Somehow that day, it, it, it kind of hit me. I was like, well, hold on a second. I want to invest in real estate. I already discovered the real estate investment is what I want to do. Real estate development is what I want to do. I said, but uh, apparently, uh, maybe I should, instead of just working, who knows what type of a job, maybe I should be a realtor. Lumi's dreams became even bigger, and she moved to the U.S. Let's fast forward to many years later and an experienced and ambitious Chicago agent. Lumi Ispas is now 16-time Quality Service Award winner who is named in the top 1% of brokers in Chicago. I discovered that I love teaching and I love sharing uh, what I know to other people because it took me so many years. It took me close to 10 years to finally realize um, what it takes to become successful in the United States. Um, not successful in the sense of in your business, but financially successful. So in order to assure that we are going to, to do well, we have to start thinking of how much we save, how we invest it. Also, can we get income without working? Uh, can, can we put our money to work? There, there, there is possible to live a life of the life of your dream, the life that you really want. And it's not that complicated to get it, especially through real estate. Another, another realization I got in the first years in the United States was that 80% of all the millionaires, all the wealthy people in the United States and in the world, either make their money in real estate or they grow it in real estate. There is more to real estate than just buying a house. Making an intelligent decision in real estate investments is a big part of it. Lumi will show you how to become financially independent and build a multi-million dollar portfolio. It started when the market was at the bottom. I remember this young couple. They uh, young, early 20s. They just had a baby. Their mother was over and they were living in a one rental uh, apartment. They were paying about $750 a month in rent. I still remember. They didn't have a lot of savings, very, you know, a little money, not a lot. And uh, I remember telling them that they should buy. And they were looking at me like, are you kidding me? 
you know, I'm sitting home with my kid. I'm not working. Only the husband is working. We barely pay the rent, the $750. How could we afford to buy? So I shouldn't want to pay for how a building will help them. They were still kind of concerned, like, no, 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 building is too much. We don't know. We don't have deserves. We have no money. It, it's, it's not really for us. I said, okay, well, we can do something else then. So I found a program at that time with a 3% down payment where they bought the house with a finished basement. So in Chicago, we also have, uh, we have basement. And uh, a lot of people use them as, separate, as a separate apartment or as we call it in law apartment, meaning the family will live there, the parents that come to help, uh, help them and or stay with them until they get back on their feet. I sold them this little house. Um, I think it was like a couple hundred thousand dollars, like $200,000 house. And they put like maybe five, $6,000 down payment. We had the seller pay the closing costs. So what we did before the closing they already found somebody at their work to rent the basement. There were three roommates. I still remember there were three bedrooms. They rent the basement to their roommates and their mortgage was about 1,650 bucks. And the, the reason I remember the price is because they, they rented the units for 500, the bedrooms downstairs for 500 each. So if you think about it, they rented the basement for $1,500, but their mortgage with tax insurance was 1,650 and they had the same set of utilities for the whole house. So they decided to split that with the roommate, the downstairs people, 50-50. So now they move from a cramped one bedroom, three adults and one kid into a beautiful house. Upstairs, it was used to be three bedroom, one bath upstairs and three bedrooms and one bath downstairs. So they had a beautiful upstairs apartment and, and for $150 a month. So they start talking to their neighbors. The neighbors were a family that uh, were losing the house. Uh, they didn't have a mortgage, but they couldn't take care of it. So we set it up so they can refinance this property because the property kept going up in value, pull some cash out, and they were able to buy the property next door that had two units plus a basement. Right away, they already had from their work tenants set up for two apartments. They rented their out, and I think they got like 1,500, 2,000 a month in cash flow because they had a very small mortgage. And then a couple years back, I think maybe only two years ago, they finally bought their dream home. So they bought a split level with five bedrooms, three baths, because they have a big family that come and visit from many, you know, months at a time. They sold the small one, the small house, and they bought the new dream home for cash. So they were able to buy for cash a property, use a little bit of the cash pool from the, the other two flat, and still have, I think, $1,500 a month cash flow from the two flat besides the fact that they live for free in their home just for their tax and reason. So this is one example of somebody that, you know, almost nobody could have helped them. She holds seminars on how to achieve your financial freedom within five years by purchasing real estate with low down payments. These seminars are held the last Saturday of every month. Another example, this was an American girl. I think she was, um, she was about 20 years old. I met her at, uh, at a seminar. Uh, from Denmark Education. I still remember her. She, uh, we were in the parking lot and she said, I heard that you were in real estate. Can you help? And you teach investment seminar. Can you help me? I want to buy an investment property. So I said, sure, come to my investment seminar. Now, I didn't really pay attention. A lot of people say this. Truly out of, you know, four people, they say that they will come to the seminar. Maybe one shows up. You know, what was the chance of a 19 year old buying an investment property? She showed up to show up at the seminar. She stayed until the end. And she said, would you? You know, I love what you thought. I don't have a lot of money. I work on, uh, you know, she was a manager at, uh, at the fast food store. I said, what should I do? I have nothing. She kept asking. Well, guess what? A year later, we were able to buy for her a four unit building. I always teach in my seminar people how to find their financial freedom number. I say, you can't become financial free until you understand what's your number, how much money you need per month to be financially free. Well, this girl was single. She was, like I said, she was 20 years old, so she didn't have a lot of expenses. She reduced all her expenses to, I believe, like six and seven hundred dollars a month. So it was very low. So we bought this four-unit building where she could live absolutely for free in a unit, and she was making six hundred dollars extra from the other three. It was, you know, not a big apartment or anything, but for her, she was looking only to become financial free. It was not important how the house looked. The second day after we closed, she quit her job because that day she closed the home. And it was a few days after she turned 21. That girl became financial free, 21 years old. Since then, she first she got her real estate license thinking that that's what she wants to do. Uh, she continued her college, she graduated. Then she became a financial advisor. 
she started working for the Northern Trust and she's actually the only lady in her office. And she's 23. Everybody else is, you know, men with who knows how many degrees and financials. And now she's bought the second home. And, and you know, stories like this light me up. This is what I live for. I love to share with people and I love to teach them how to accomplish that for themselves. Are you ready to become financially independent? Join Luminita Ispas seminars in Chicago, www.luminitaispas.com. 